gave himself for it. Jesus Christ gave himself for the church. Again, another indication I would say, well, church is probably pretty important then. He gave himself for the body. He gave himself for the church to exist, for us to congregate together as believers in him. Jesus Christ bled and died for the church. He loves church so much that he gave himself for it. If Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for church, do you think he might be able to show up once in a while or maybe make it a little bit more of a priority than just once in a while and say, you know, if Jesus Christ loved the church so much that he gave his own life for it, maybe I will be part of the body on a regular basis and it'll be important and I'll show up and I'll be here. Verse 25, husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So here we see another aspect of church. Why, why does Christ want us all to come together? He says, well, I want the church to be holy to not have any blemishes. So when you come to church, one of the reasons for coming to church, among many, is that God wants us to get cleaned up. He wants us to clean up our act. He wants us to get sin out of our life. That's why if you're going to church that isn't preaching hard and preaching against sin, you're not in a good church. How in the world are we going to be presented spotless and be sanctified and everything else if we're not even being taught what's wrong. Where are the spots? Where are the blemishes? What is it that I need to work on? Well, that's why Jesus Christ wants us to come in church. He says he wants you to be cleansed with the washing of the water by the word. There should be a lot of the word, God's word being taught, the instruction coming clearly to the church because those are the words of Christ. That's the instruction that we need. It's not my opinion. It's not anyone else's opinion. It's what the, the, the Word says. This is the instruction that we need. We need to hear this. We need to be sanctified so that the church can be glorious. It can be presented to Himself. Glorious, without spot, without wrinkle, without these imperfections. He wants us cleaned up. And you're going to get that by coming to church. You're going to hear... The, what, what God wants for us, hopefully, I mean, again, you're in the right church, you're going to be hearing what, uh, and this is God's will, that this is what would be done in church. Verse 28, so ought men to love their own wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. God loves the church. Again, we're seeing this again, how much love the Lord has for the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bone.